Caleb was talking about how fast these fish swim from hole to hole and we'll be marking these fish back and forth and that's why with an artificial jig like that you just never want to stop moving it. These fish zoom so quickly. You're, oh it's on you now. Now it's on me. Oh boy. It's just crazy compared to a pike or a walleye that would be you know on one hole or on the other hole. These rainbows are just flying back and forth and that's why you really need to keep oh, your bait. Oh it's back on mine. It's back on mine. Your bait moving at all times because they're going to get bored of it if it stops moving. Get, get, be more aggressive, be more aggressive. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, there, oh there's one. Oh, yeah. Very slow, according to you. There we go. Oh. Ooh, 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 yeah. Oh, Did no. you see it? Did you see it? I think so, yeah, I felt something. You're probably hitting the grass there. No, it was a fish. Yeah, I think he was stuck in the weeds a bit. No, 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 I wasn't. It's the ice, I need to. Here we go, bud. There we go. Nice. Looks like a nice one. Yup. He had a chance at the white jig and he didn't want it, so he went for Blondie. Actually, I couldn't get my line down. It was frozen to the ice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, so I'll tell you when. As soon as it starts coming up the hole, I'm gonna hand you the rod. Okay, here, oh, take the rod, take man. the rod, take the rod. Nice and gentle, oh. nice and gentle. Oh my word. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my, whoa. That is a nice long one. Wow. And you see, he's got that hair jig right in the beak there. We're gonna call that Blondie, and I'll show you why. Dirty Blonde. I'm gonna tuck this fish right back in the water. Oh, so clean. Man, I got psyched when I saw that head come up from the hole. Big head, eh? Kind of a, a lean body, but yeah. giant head. We've got our tying station right in the boat here, so we're tying jigs as we go. You know, this is a, a fly tying vise, super cheap. 15 bucks, you can have a fly tying vise and you can tie any hairs. You can see here's a bucktail. Grab your jig, let's, let's show what, you, what your jig looks like. There's white bucktail. Um, the most common would be either bucktail or marabou. Here's a little bit of marabou fluff. And here we have, what is that? Here's what Caleb's using. Small white bucktail jig. That was working pretty well. Yes, we are tying today though. What I was using was more of a, a, an earthy brown color. So. We've got a jig in the vise here. I'm gonna hand you the scissors. We're gonna tie another demonstration oh, one. Okay. There you go. So black and white are the two primary colors when you're tying jigs for really any species any time of year. With these stock trout though, if you open up their belly a lot of times, they got so much bug muck in them. And that bug muck as a whole is really more of a brown earthy color there. I'm gonna lay it on top of the jig like that and then I'm just gonna sort of massage it around the jig and that way it's not all gonna tie on the bottom of the jig, it's gonna tie all the way around that jig. And there we go. I'm wrapping it on with the thread. Scissors, my friend. I'm gonna trim those hairs like so. And that jig's done. I've got the hair tied on, I'm just gonna secure it. And you can look up online how to do this finishing knot. This is called a whip finish but it's basically just like tying several overhand knots with that thread in a row. And just like that, do you see how fast that was? The hardest part was finding a good oriental friend to cut your hair for you. <laughs> and right there we've got an earth tone jig that's ready to go down and catch us another big trout. You can see that matches the jig that I just pulled that fish on, like so. Wow. Another brogie. I just caught a brook trout on human hair. Can you believe that? He's dead sticking. I'm rip jigging giant trophy brook trout in northern Manitoba at Moak Lodge.